Hello friends, this is Scott, and it's that time of the year again where we're guessing. When is the first frost coming? Well, the news forecast says it's coming in a couple days, and it looks like the you know for four or five days it's going to be below freezing in the mornings, so I better get everything picked that I can possibly pick. And what we're looking at here is the earth box planters that I planted, and uh, with all the peppers, and you can see there's a good look at some of the peppers I have on the plant. And we've been picking them and eating them as we go throughout the year, especially green peppers, but we haven't picked many of the hot peppers yet. I have picked a couple habaneros uh, that are in the fridge, so I'll show you those uh, with the final harvest. Um, but this is what we have. Now, the ahi amarillo peppers never did mature. Uh, the plants grew huge you know, in these earth boxes, but the, the fruit itself did not grow very big and it did not turn yellow as they're supposed to. So. We're going to use them anyway, but uh, again, if I don't pick them, they're going to go to waste. So today's the day, and we're going to pick all the peppers from the earth boxes. Now, this one on the end here, you see it flopped over. That's because it's mostly green peppers, and uh, that plant got really heavy, and I've been off and about doing my things and and haven't been too aggressive on picking, but now's the time. i got to get it all done, but that's why that left plant there is, or left couple plants are or falling onto the ground because they don't have any supports and they're just full of full of peppers. So have one of my handy harvest baskets with me and we're just going to go through the uh, all of them and I'm going to pick everything of any any size whatsoever because again if I don't they're just going to be dead. So anyway it looks like these are the jalapenos and we've got some pretty good ones here and uh, but I was really impressed with the size of these plants this year. The peppers grew really tall. Again the fruit itself not, not necessarily the best but uh, you know I did Plant them pretty, pretty thick. I had eight plants per container, I believe. It was six, six to eight. I think it was eight. And uh, yeah, just fertilize once. And all you got to do all summer is just water. Just keep water in the basin. And and this is a pretty sunny spot in the yard. It is under a tree, but I pruned the tree back pretty heavily last year. So uh, there was plenty of, plenty of sun. So here's a better look at some jalapenos. And, uh, you know, some of them have matured red, but most of them are uh, still green. But I'll pick a couple up here just to show you. And, uh, yeah, there's a nice size. And uh, jalapenos are probably my favorite uh, pepper, hot pepper. I do love cayennes, though. And that's uh, those, the jalapenos and the cayennes are, are the peppers we use in our uh, world's best salsa that, that we make. And this year, we didn't make much salsa, so it was kind of disappointing. I had other things going on, but... This winter, we'll uh, we'll save some of these peppers, and we'll be able to uh, to make some of the good good salsa when the when the snow's hitting the ground. But yeah, there's lots of peppers on here, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna pick away. These earth box planters are nice; they are not organic by any means. You have to use fertilizer, uh, but once you fertilize once, it's just again. There's a nice green pepper. You just uh, yeah, you just water, and that's all you got to worry about. So every couple days, you got to fill this the water up and uh, it does drink a lot of water these plants uh, peppers do uh, do go through the water quite a bit so here's a look at the ahi amarillos and again they did not mature uh, disappointed in the size and uh, yeah they're all just still green again the plants did wonderfully but the fruit not so much now here's the cayennes as you see they're the skinny red ones and a lot of these are already kind of dried on the vine so these are you know a lot of times i'll dry these and i'll make our own you know hot spice mix but I, I don't think I have enough this year. I think I'm just going to freeze them. And we'll just pull them out and use them as we, as we need them. But there's a lot of cayennes here. Again, they're all up on top of the plant, it looks like. And I've and, uh, got quite a few, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Now, on this side of the plant, uh, there's some immature habaneros. Again, I have some orange ones in the house that uh, did fully mature, but I would like to have left these on the plant to mature, but... Don't have time, so we're gonna get them, and we're just gonna we're just gonna use them green. See how spicy the green ones are. Now the the orange ones are very spicy, and I <laughs> ate a couple of those this year, and man, they're tough. You know, they're they're a little spicier than I like generally, but that's why I go with the jalapenos and the cayennes because uh, they're nice peppers, but they're not gonna kill you. Habaneros are getting up to that point where they're they become uncomfortable. So so here's a look. And you, you know, it's hard to see all the different varieties I've got picked in in here, but. I did go pick some tomatoes and some apples and some there's some green beans in there too and a few other things just to grab whatever I could grab. But there's the, the orange habaneros and with the green habaneros. There's the cayennes. So I don't have a lot of cayennes there, it doesn't look like. The jalapenos, got quite a few though, enough for us. You know, we don't eat that many spicy peppers. Have the green peppers or the mixed bell peppers and then all those ahi amarillos. 
Got lots of them. I just wish they would have matured, but yeah, it is what it is. And there's the last of my Asian pears that I've got to dry. And so I've, you know, just wanted to show you that I've got through most of those. And there's my apples, a few ugly apples and some tomatoes. And yeah, so we've got a little bit of a harvest there to, to finish up the growing season. And peppers are great. You don't have to blanch them. You just throw them in freezer bags, date them, and, uh, which I haven't done yet, doesn't look like, but I, I did put the dates on those. And, you know, they're pretty obvious what they are, so I didn't need to put a description. And I just throw them in the freezer, and, uh, yeah, I just pull them out and use them. So, yeah, we had a pretty good, you know, pretty good pepper harvest. Uh, great plants, fruit, yeah, so-so. Ahi Amarillo's disappointment. But all in all, not a bad little harvest from two earth box planters uh, just sitting on the patio. And again, they're on a, they're just, all you got to do is fertilize them once and water them. So anybody could grow these as long as you have sun and you could do it on a, on a balcony or, or wherever else you have a little bit of space. Well, thanks for watching this video. And if you like to grow your own peppers, I would highly suggest you do so. Now you can make some really tasty treats with them.